My name is Olive Lane. I live with my mother. My father passed away few years ago. I have just completed junior school. Unfortunately I have no summer break this year since I am preparing for the EB Abubakar teen quiz with my partner Romeo. My friends Esther and Adam are flying in to cheer for me. Romeo and I won the quiz and was awarded a cash prize, I also got pre-admission into London's Barron University to study law. Adam is my supposed boyfriend. We have liked each other for a very long time, he is ready to take things to the next level, me however I'm scared of losing focus, because I can't stop myself from thinking about him. He lives rent free in my head, so I came up with a solution. What if we just go back to being platonic? Just a boy and a girl who like each other but aren't doing anything about it. Little did I know it will come back biting me in the ass later. Hey guys, if you are enjoying my story so far please hit the subscribe and like button, thank you. School season has resumed and I am very excited because I have been nominated as head prefect despite having three rivals this will be a walk in the park. I just have to be convincing enough in my campaign for people to vote for me. My first day back to school was not as great as I anticipated. Adam's childhood friend Eveline who happens to be the school owner's daughter has transferred to our school, to top things off, she's in our class. She can't keep her hands off Adam and that's driving me insane. Right when I thought my campaign was going well. Evelyn sabotaged my campaign by bringing up the reason why I was suspended in the past and that added to my stress. Other students started making fun of me, some even called me a hypocrite. I saw the trust drain from their eyes as they learned that I too was capable of crude, dishonorable behavior. I fell fast from the pedestal so many had put me on. Hypocrites! So petty! She acts like she's better than everyone else. Why would she even do something like that? She didn't say. So that time that she wasn't in school for two weeks, she was on suspension. I thought she traveled or something. Mm -hmm. Poor Maria. How does she even stand her? I had her still friends. World War III started in my head. We started our mock examinations and my focus was failing me. The answers to the questions were somewhere in my mind but overthinking about Adam and Evelyn blocked me from reaching them. During the big day, I did not win, I lost not so fair but square. I did not make it as head prefect, or a simple prefect for that matter. Emma called me and it made me feel better. Even Maria that I wronged came to see me, and it made me realize how great of a person she was. When Esther took me to Angel's concert it helped me cry, I realized that I had received tons of advice but not one word of consolation. I broke down in tears and that helped me a lot. <sighs> the dam finally broke. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Olive, what's wrong? Did someone step on you? Why are you crying? <laughs> Olive, so the following day at school. The mock examinations results came out and I had failed terribly. I did not tell my mom or my friends. With each passing mock exam I kept failing and failing, the icing on the top was when my mom signed me up for a public competition on national television. I didn't know how to tell her that I couldn't attend the competition but I embarrassed myself on national television. My brain could not come up with the answers to the questions. That added to my stress, my mom was mad at me, because she thought I intentionally failed because I didn't want to attend the competition in the first place. The University of My Dreams Boron University removed me from their waiting list. Hello. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Izzy. I know it's you. Oh, really? You watched her? Yes. She wasn't feeling really well, that's why. I'm sure it's not possible. Olive always makes stellar grades in school. 
This incident is isolated. All right, I understand. I will confirm it myself. Yes, thank you. I appreciate your courtesy. Oh, Holly, what have you done? Mommy, was that the Barrett Reds? They are dropping you from the wait list. <sighs> My failing streak continued. The school decided to post everyone's results on the notice board. Now everyone was aware of my failure but thanks to Esther who saved me at the nick of time by telling everyone that I was failing on purpose. Do I look like someone who would intentionally fail really, thanks Esther. I conducted an experiment and I saw that I was still smart I just panic in the examination room, so I needed to find a solution ASAP. During lunch break my eyes saw my ears, Romeo's little sister stole her friend's money. I started thinking of how to tell Romeo that for a minute I forgot of my own problems. Before I could tell him, he asked me for a favor and I couldn't tell him then. I confronted Gloria and she did not deny the accusations. So now I was just looking for the perfect moment to tell Romeo. Iris stopped me and for the first time ever, we worked together. The plan was to talk to Gloria without disappointing Romeo. Evelyn kept trying to become my friend. The shocking news of the day was during our study session, Evelyn finally admitted to liking Adam, I was not surprised however but she was convinced Adam liked her too. I don't blame her, it's Adam I blame for not discouraging her advances all along. In the next mock examination, Adam also failed and it was obvious there was something wrong with him. I asked him what was wrong with him but he vented out his anger on me, he blamed me about everything that had gone wrong whether I knew it or not. So I left him alone, and the days that followed were not eventful. Esther decided not to talk to either Adam and me until we reconciled. This is my story or part of my story. To be continued, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment your expectation on episode 10 of Best Friends in the World Senior Year. Thank you and take care. Wow, it must really be a fan. I'm not even your fan, so I don't even know why I'm crying. You have honored me so much by allowing my music into your heart. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Olive. Hopefully this next song cheers all the vote.